No, 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 this can't be, Bill exclaimed, his voice echoing off the nearby trees. Disbelief filled his eyes as he took in the sight before him. It was Daisy, one of his favorite cows, which he thought he had lost on a bleak morning eight months ago. He never anticipated that he would see her again. With each passing month and no sign of his beloved cow, he had gradually lost all hope. Yet there she was, right in front of him, as if nothing had ever happened. Amidst his excitement, something caused Bill to halt in his tracks. Hold on a second, Bill said, voicing his bewilderment loudly. Then he fell into a hushed whisper. Could it be? He cautiously took a few steps closer. Am I really seeing what I think I'm seeing? He looked up and suddenly he was certain. What in the world? Bill shouted, his face turning pale. But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Bill could still vividly remember the day Daisy, his favorite cow, went missing. He had once been fond of summer afternoons, but now they were unbearable reminders of that devastating day. Each sunny day served as a stark memory of his favorite cow's loss. The day had started like any other, with Bill out in the fields at dawn tending to his crops with a level of care born from years of experience. Bill was looking forward to ending his day with a relaxing read, catching the last rays of sunshine from the comfort of his hammock. His hands were covered in soil when a strange sense of unease started to gnaw at him. He decided to take a quick walk to check on the cows in the south pasture. As he walked on the old dirt road, he took in the sights and sounds of summer. Birds chirped merrily in the trees. He whistled as he walked towards his cows, eager to see them again. Every morning, the sight of his cows made his eyes light up. It lifted his mood immediately, no matter what mood he was in. But this morning, it did the complete opposite. When he neared the pasture, Bill's cheerful whistling came to an abrupt halt. His eyes widened in disbelief at the scene before him. One, two, three, four, Bill began counting out loud. This couldn't be happening. He immediately noticed something was off. He caught on right away because every morning his first task was to look for his favorite cow, Daisy. His heart began to beat faster in his chest, and a sense of dread started seeping into Bill. Daisy, his favorite cow, was missing. With a knot in his stomach, he hurried to the barn, praying that Daisy would be there safe and sound. But all he found was an empty spot where Daisy usually rested. Her absence turned the usually cheerful barn into a place filled with worry. Refusing to give up, he made his way to the fields that Daisy loved to wander. He searched every inch, his eyes scanning the landscape for any sign of his beloved cow. But Daisy wasn't there either. What was happening? As the sun began to set, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, he stood alone in the empty field. A sense of loss washed over him. His beloved Daisy was nowhere to be found, leaving behind only questions and a farm that suddenly felt a lot emptier. As the days wore on, a feeling of worry began to creep into Bill's heart. As a small-time farmer, he knew just how crucial his cows were to him. Days turned into weeks, and there was still no sign of Daisy. The whole town was filled with posters of Daisy, a constant reminder of her absence. But as time wore on, his hopes dimmed. His heart sank lower with each passing day that brought no signs of Daisy's return. As autumn's chill crept across the land, Bill resigned himself to the fact that Daisy was likely gone forever. Yet a question still plagued his mind. He tried to focus on caring for the remaining cows who still relied on him for their well-being, but he felt the absence of Daisy's soulful brown eyes that used to follow him as he did his chores. Winter settled over the farm, covering it in a white blanket of snow that concealed any remnants of the events from the previous summer. As the seasons changed and life carried on, the mystery of the cow's disappearance lingered in the depths of Bill's mind. That is, until one morning eight months later, when Bill awoke to the first whispers of spring, the gentle sound of melting ice outside his window, and the warm embrace of sunlight after months of bitter cold. Stepping outside to savor the fresh air, his heart skipped a beat as he spotted something in the distance. Could it be? From afar, Bill spotted a dark form ambling up the pasture hill toward the farm gates. The gentle moo carried by the wind, it looked just like Daisy. He could hardly dare to believe that it was true. Was he really seeing her there after all these months? Daisy! He called out gingerly. Bill was waiting for her to run towards him, to finally hug and hold his dearest cow again. But that's not the reaction Bill would get. Muzzled by her odd behavior, he took a cautious step forward. It's okay, girl. It's just me. But Daisy only backed further away, lowering her head in an aggressive stance. Bill was alarmed to see she was poised to charge if he came any nearer.
Whoa there, easy, Bill said in a gentle tone, hands raised in a calming gesture. Confusion clouded his mind. What had happened to his beloved cow to make her act so strangely? But instead of trotting over to greet him, she remained rooted in place, regarding Bill with wary eyes. Puzzled by her odd behavior, he took a cautious step forward. It's okay, girl, it's just me. But Daisy only backed further away, lowering her head in an aggressive stance. Bill was alarmed to see she was poised to charge if he came any nearer. Whoa there, easy, Bill said in a gentle tone, hands raised in a calming gesture. Confusion clouded his mind. What had happened to his beloved cow to make her act so strangely? He scanned her carefully for any sign of injury or illness. She looked healthy and well-fed, but why was she acting so strange? Despite his initial shock, an overwhelming sense of relief and happiness took over him. Daisy was alive, she was well. His heart swelled with joy he hadn't felt in months, but his mind was a whirl with questions. Slowly, he took a few steps forward, leaves crumbling under his feet. And that's when Bill spotted something that made his blood run cold. Daisy was showing signs of protectiveness, her body angled just so, creating a shield over a particular spot by her side. She wasn't the calm cow he used to know. Her eyes were set and determined, her body was stiff, and she seemed tough in a way Bill had never seen before. With a pounding heart, Bill crept close enough to peer over Daisy's back. It was an animal of some sort, but he couldn't quite make out what it was. And something about it made him shiver. Its small, furry body was nestled against his cow's belly. As Bill got closer, he noticed something odd about the baby animal. The creature's gaze was unsettling yet intriguing. It held a wildness that was both captivating and baffling. The more Bill looked at the creature, the more he sensed something incongruous. Bill could hardly bear the sight before him. The creature, small and delicate, was clearly in pain. His instinct was to reach out and soothe the creature, to offer some form of comfort. However, his attempts were met with cries of fear. Every time he edged nearer, the creature would let out a cry of alarm, an explicit request for him to keep his distance. As he stood helplessly, Bill decided to call the local animal rescue team, praying that they could intervene swiftly. Collaborations, however, took more time than he'd hoped, and each passing moment was precious. He could see the creature weakening further, its life force ebbing with every passing minute. Finally, as dusk settled over the farm, animal rescue personnel arrived. Bill guided them to the barn, relief washing over him. The team approached slowly and began assessing the animal's condition. After examination, their expressions grew serious. Speaking in hushed voices, they conferred with each other, occasionally casting puzzled looks back at the creature resting beside Daisy. What was going on? After what felt like an eternity, one member approached Bill, her expression unreadable. Will it make it? Bill asked urgently. The woman hesitated. We're not sure yet, but we'll do all we can. As the team prepared to depart, Bill's curiosity mounted. Please, can you at least tell me what it is? The woman met his eyes. We cannot say for certain. All we know is this is no ordinary creature. After that unsettling comment, they left, taking the strange being with them. Bill was left wondering about the puzzling hints. What weird animal had he found? And what had his cow Daisy to do with it? Bill was upset because animal rescue personnel didn't tell him anything. Even though he was annoyed, Bill kept trying to uncover their secret. He visited them again the next day, committed to figuring it out. As Bill got closer to the pen where animal rescue personnel kept the creature, his heart was racing with excitement. When he spotted an animal rescue worker, he didn't waste time. Can someone please tell me what's happening? He asked loudly. The man turned to Bill with an apprehensive look. I'm afraid we still don't have all the answers yet. This is a very unusual situation. Bill could feel his frustration rising. Please, I need to know more. That's my cow, Daisy, that was involved, and I have a right to know what's happening. The man hesitated before replying. You're right. You do deserve more of an explanation. But you have to understand, we are restricted in what we can disclose at this stage. All Bill's insistence paid off. The worker finally confessed something to him. The creature is a wolf pup. We have no idea how it ended up here, but your cow seems to have adopted it. Bill reeled in shock. A wolf? How could that be possible? Finally, the day came for the wolf pup to be released from care. Bill did not hesitate. He knew what he had to do. This wolf, though a creature of the wild, had found a home on his farm. He could not let it simply be taken away and released into the unknown. So when the animal services team deemed the wolf pup healthy and strong enough to leave, Bill was there, waiting patiently. Together, they made the journey back to his farm. Returning to the south pasture, Bill watched nervously as Daisy spotted them approaching. To his relief, the cow let out an enthusiastic moo, 
overjoyed to be reunited with the wolf pup she had so fiercely protected. Returning to the south pasture, Bill watched nervously as Daisy spotted them approaching. To his relief, the cow let out an enthusiastic moo, overjoyed to be reunited with the wolf pup she had so fiercely protected. 